bird. That's going to be, uh, we got a guy get a bird about two minutes ago in the club, about the same distance as us. So that could be second place in the club. We'll have to look at the results on Benzing live. And uh, while we're waiting, I'll talk. I've got a problem. Oh, here's another one. Four more. Already clocked. I heard it. I heard it beat. So that's good. That's good. Um, but I've got I've got some birds in there fighting over a box right now. All right. So this is the problem. The cock on my right has been out of the loft a week and a half, and why he was gone. The other cock claimed his box, and I don't know what to do. Um, I mean, they're going to have to just kind of figure it out on their own. That's one of the things I love about the boxes. If a bird claims them, and it helps motivate them to a race, getting back to their home territory. Um, and I, I find that a, a perch, a stick perch, or a V perch, doesn't quite have the same effect as a box. You know, my boxes are, are roughly, you know, 12 by 24, so it's a, it's a good size box. Got another one. Hey, buddy. You're good. Walk in. You're good. It's already in the clock, but... Another one. Maybe not one of mine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve. So twelve race birds just flew overhead. I would get out the other camera. I apologize. One of them's mine. It's breaking off. Still really, really high. I'm gonna go put these birds in a crate and I'll be back. See what we've got. I've got seven birds. We sent ten. And I've got to get to soccer. I've got a, a daughter that has a soccer game in 45 minutes. So I've got to, I have to get her to. How you doing? It's about 4.30 on Saturday afternoon. Uh, the, the race went really well. I sent 10 birds. I got nine back within 23 minutes of each other. So I'm happy about that. That was 178 miles. Um, a pretty quick race. The weather was really good. Um, I've kind of buggered my season a little bit. Uh, let me show you why. 
this is our best bird. Um, I think she was third in the loft today. Um, little little blue bar hen. She was the first bird in the first race. And so she was, I think, fifth in the combine, first in the club. And then in the second race, she came in with the, the first bird to the loft. So she was on the drop. I guess you could say equal first. Um, and that was a club first. And, and in the combine, I don't know, it was like a little further back, seventh. So she scored points in every race she's been in. Um, on, on Tuesday when I checked her flights, she had molted uh, her ninth flight was just about all the way grown in. And then Thursday morning when I cleaned the loft, uh, her flights were, were, were here on the loft on the floor. So she dropped her 10th flight. I went ahead and sent her anyway. Um, and the only reason I did it is because I knew she'd just dropped the flight and, and the 10th flight hadn't grown in at all. So she was definitely penalized not having 10 flights, but um, she's gonna kind of have a blood feather in, in probably three days or something. And, and uh, that, that, that tenth flight will start growing back in. So I won't be able to race her for at least two weeks um, and, and maybe three weeks. That, hopefully I'll get to get her in another race because she is in the running for champion bird. Um, but who knows? Uh, if I had that bird a month earlier, I think I, in the loft, I think I could have got her in, in uh, uh, completely through the wing molt. Um, and I didn't want to mess with pulling flights. Uh, if I had, she'd have a full wing right now, and, and I think I would have been better off. Uh, all right, so what happened, this cock is the one that's been gone for two weeks, and he had this box, and his neighbor over here is paired up, and, and they had claimed both boxes. So I think they've got it uh, figured out, but uh, I do need to find a way when I have birds that I don't send to a race, I need to have a way to, to lock their box. I don't know what I'm going to come up with, but I need to, I need to do something just so they don't, they don't fight. I mean, it kind of sucks to come home from a 170 mile loft and have a squatter in a box that, that you'd claimed as your own.